Cars lined the street outside Cesar Chavez Ravenswood Middle School, but there were no classes today. This is wonderful because it, it's local. Only vaccinations. Jane Jones was ready to roll up her sleeve. For my job, I do need it, and because I'm always talking to people, I do want to get the vaccination, plus the Johnson & Johnson is one and done. This is part of a collaborative effort to boost low vaccination rates in East Palo Alto, a community that's seen high COVID rates and is lagging behind the rest of the county in vaccinations. We are the first city of San Mateo to have received permission from the Equity Commission to vaccinate adults 18 and over. The rare move comes nearly two weeks before eligibility opens up to everyone in the state. Councilmember Antonio Lopez says it was important to expand eligibility in East Palo Alto. Part of the disadvantage that we faced early on in the vaccination rollout was being unable to vaccine our younger populations, which, yes, are not as vulnerable due to their age, but to the line of occupation. He says the clinics should help a community sometimes hesitant to speak up. Immigrants and folks of color, often by lack of English fluency or legal status, um, often are wary of speaking out. They let alone affirm their place in line. Plans to host clinics are ongoing. The site isn't permanent and it may move to other locations. It's more organized. Eva Arias got vaccinated today and was pleased with the outcome. She says it took time to find a place. Like three weeks. You've been looking for three weeks? Yes, and he's a essential worker and he can't get it either. But today was different. In East Palo Alto, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.